Hi folks, this is Yachtsman1 again from the Pictures to Exe forum with my series of tutorials on how to use the basics in Pictures to Exe series 8.0.1 We'll start where we left, left off with number two, uh, where there was some confusion about the shore grid facility. I've since confirmed that it is in the O and A screen that the shore grid facility is seen. It isn't seen in this screen. I'll give you a quick look. But that's a blank slide so you don't want to see a blank slide with a screen on it so I'll just highlight the pictures to exe icon slide this icon here hover your mouse over it it's a show stroke high grid control plus G if you into using keystrokes so we click on that and it's there I found out also that if you set that in the preferences it will show it the first time but then if you toggle between on and off like that the tick in preferences disappears so that needs to be sorted out right back to settings preferences and we got down as far as the editor, which is where the show grid. The same applies with the show safe TV zone. Zone. We tick that. Click OK. Go into objects and animation. Here you can see the safe TV zone. So we'll close that down, go back to settings, preferences, and untick that because it's something I haven't used. Right, the final one on here is templates. I'm not going to try and explain that to you because in my mind it's an advanced feature. Another reason is I don't know how to use them, so... We'll leave that one alone and just say it's there in preferences. We'll click OK. Just to run through the items on the top toolbar again. Clicking on them opens them up. And you've got various options there which when you're starting out you need to just click on each one and see what it does. You can't do it any harm. Same with publish. Now publish is when you've finished your first show, you can publish it in various formats. The normal one is an exe file. Project undo and redo is the same as the two arrows here. When you've done something and you want to undo it, click the back arrow and when you want to bring something back on that you've done and you've took off click the forward arrow right project options is the same as the button on the bottom toolbar I use that one in preference to this one up here because flooding up and down the screen can be time consuming and it's not my way of working so I've got project options down here slide again there are other ways to do some of these things than shown in this menu such as copy slide slide option slide style objects and animation insert blank slide 
remove slide, clear slide list, rotate clockwise, rotate counterclockwise, audio comment, fit all slides to soundtrack, change image file, edit file, create slide style. And then the last one on there is the help which I showed you before. On the next one down is comment. Now this is where you can add text to your slide. I don't use this facility. I add my text in the O and A screen using the T icon. This icon, when you hover your mouse over it, says start new project. Now, when I start a new show, I always start a new project, not from this function here. From here, I say File, New, and I start my new project off from there. But if you're into clicking icons, that's the icon to click on there. I missed that one. This is the folder where various shows in this series are. This is Tutorial 3. And this is where it's actually stored. Again, the, the old floppy disk type icon there is a save facility when you are ready to save your show. Now when you're looking for a show that you've stored in the file tree, this is a way of looking for it in here. You click on that and you can find the file that way. This icon, size of pictures in the file list. This is the file list by clicking the drop down arrow it brings up a slider and you can adjust the size of the slides that way which is an alternative to dragging things about this way like I showed you in one of the earlier tutorials change image file I don't use so there's no point in me trying to explain its function if you look in the 7.5 manual I think it tells you what that facility does right if we come down now to the bottom toolbar you've got full screen preview of this slideshow so if we click on that you've got the full screen. To get back to the screen we were just on if you click the escape key top left on your keypad that will bring you back. Publish show is the same as you've just seen up on the top toolbar only here it's uh, more discernible what it actually does. You've got executable file for PC, safe executable file for internet that puts it into a zip folder and then executable file for Mac HD video DVD video for mobile devices I've been saving some of my shows I've got a Tesco huddle tablet and I've been saving some of my shows in that AVI video file if you want to create a video to put onto YouTube and you don't want to go through the publish for YouTube if you've already got an account on YouTube you can create an AVI video file here and upload it to your own 
account. Publish on YouTube sets up a, an account for you if you go through the details on there and then finally publish on Facebook. Well I think we've uh, done enough now on this particular one so I'm going to close it down. Thank you.